this one goes out to all you cat owners out there and all you dog owners that hate them. This is a story about a, a parasite that lives in cats that can alter your mind and make you a braver person. That's right, the parasite is called T. gondii. It is, a, uh, it is an infection. Analysis of databases from 42 countries revealed that on a global scale, prevalence of the T. gondii infection <laughs> was a quote, consistent positive predictor of entrepreneurial activity. And they say that that also means if you have this parasite in your brain, it'll change you so you're not afraid of failure. How do you get it from cats? They're poo poo. Yeah. Really? Scat play with cats. It is present in the fecal matter of mm -hmm. cats. So if you are like me and have a cat and it just poops. Then you eat their poop? You don't just eat the poop. Oh, no, so I need you to look this out for me. Spell how? Put in a blender, smoothie. Yeah, you make, there's great recipes, everyone. Great recipes for cat poop smoothies. No, like, <laughs> you know how when you walk into a place, you sm into our bathrooms at TYT and you smell like, it smells like, like boo-boo? The answer is that's that's go that's little bits going into your nose. Right. There's poop in your nose. No, there is. Now let's say you don't wash your hands fully. A little bit of fecal matter gets into your something, and there's a little parasite in there. It's gonna make you afraid to fail. It's like that movie Covenant. Just what Brett's trying to say is that there's Thank particles you. in the air when there is fecal matter in the air. So, but you but know how just, they say your phone has like a billion bacteria right. on it. That, but. Just to be to be scientific, they do med medical procedures called fecal impaction. They use to in, in jet to give you germs or something that you may live with for um, curing some disease. That happens. This is gross, though. If I want to have like a pill or take something that'll give me courage, I'll pop an Adderall or a Vyvanse. I don't yes. want to have to. I want this. I just I'm just want to figure out a safe way to get it. I think. Listen, I, I just told you I'm well, afraid of the pickaxe. Put guy. in pill form. Put it in pill form. Brooke will take. There it. are pills okay. for poop. There's poo poo pills where they give, you know how they talk about the good bacteria that you put in your right. body? Yeah. There are good bacteria pills when you're like, whatever you get from yogurt, but you want the stronger form. Oh, this is stressful. You put it in pills and you eat the pe fecal matter stuff. So I could, I'm just like one poo poo pill away from being a, a billionaire. I feel like you're not taking this seriously. Well, I'm trying to figure out. Look at those it, cats. They're not afraid of they're, fail. They're taking it real I, seriously. I am also a, like deathly afraid of cats too. Which are is you? Interesting. Yes. Why is that? No idea. Um, okay. No idea. But like, ooh, they're so sweet. Afraid. They're really nice. Uh -huh. um, and if you get them wet, they are. It's, it's the like thing. Gremlins. Not always. Not always. Sometimes. Some cats. They but said, some cats are fine with. Brad, has this but been tested by this. the FDA? Is this uh, FDA no. approved? It's been tested by <laughs> whatever we sourced this article from. <laughs> 1. 1.5, 1. 1.4 times more likely to be majoring in business if you have this. One point, and they did a bunch of studies of students, so it's like 1.7 times more likely to be focusing on management and entrepreneurship. Here's my thing: it's like maybe you just maybe cat owners. There's something about cat owners that makes them unafraid to fail because they watch their cats not give it yeah. about anything. Cats are a confidence booster. Very intrepid. They're okay. just sitting there judging and not not caring. I want this. I, it would make me not afraid of cats, which was I would like that. Yeah. <laughs>